very good day to all the viewers. My name is Bruni Kasibin from University of Malaysia Sabah, and this is my video presentation entitled "Study on the Preparation of Eggshell Powder as a Partial Semen Replacement in Mota." For introduction, eggshell is an industrial waste commonly disposed in the landfills. However, it poses hazard to the public and environment as it may contaminate the soil and water resources. Eggshell powder or ESP was found suitable to be used as semen replacement because it has high calcium carbonate content which is similar to the chemical composition of limestone, the main constituent in semen production. So, many researchers have used various methods in preparing the eggshell powders to be used in their own structural research and applications. For instance, Yeramala 2014 has used a dried method in preparing the eggshell powder and the finding shows that the strength increased with reduction of water absorption. On the other hand, Tan 2018 used oven dried method in preparing the eggshell powder and the finding shows that higher strength development and greater compressive strength of eggshell powder on crit. Next, Jaber 2019 has treated the actual powder at 750 degrees Celsius for 1 hour. The result shows that the treated actual powder has great improvement on the mechanical and durability properties of the concrete. Despite the, all the improvement provided by the actual powder, the preparation method of actual powder is not yet established. So, the aim of my research is to investigate a suitable method for the preparation of actual powder to be used as semen replacement. Generally, based on my literature review, there are four types of preparation method of the actual, which is untreated air dried actual powder, untreated oven dried actual powder, treated air dry actual powder, and treated oven dried actual powder. These four types of preparation method is then evaluated based on their performance on flowability tests, compressive strength tests, and hardened density tests. Moving on to materials and method, I am using the type 1 ordinary potent semen and fine aggregate which is river sand obtained from local supplier. Some the, the physical and chemical properties of the ordinary potent semen in fine aggregate is shown in the table below. The actual waste used in this research was obtained from the QL AgroVentures and Duran Berhad located in Sabah, Malaysia. As you can see in the flowchart below, the actual was first washed and then dried by using a dried method or oven dried method. The dried eggshell is then grinded and sieved through 75 micrometer sieve and then the sieve eggshell powder is then incinerated in the furnace for 1 hour at 500 degrees Celsius. This preparation method will then provide these four types of eggshell powders as you can see on the right side of the slide. The table shows the physical and chemical properties of actual powders. As you can see, both of the treated actual powders has significantly lower specific gravity and moisture content compared to the untreated actual powder. For my method, my replacement level, I am using only 20% of actual powders to replace the semen and a total specimen of 45, a sample size I am using 50 by 50 by 50 mm of cube, a water to semen ratio of 0 0.485, semen to fine aggregate ratio of 1 to 2.75, and the list of testing is flowability test, compressive strength test, and hardened density test. For my results and discussion, for my first test, which is the flowability test, as you can see in figure 2, the flow for untreated specimens are higher than the treated specimens and controlled specimens. This is due to the larger particles of untreated eggshell powders which act as lubricant bolt 
and it does not excessively absorb water. On the other hand, the treated eggshell powder has higher water absorption ability due to the heating process. However, the effect of a dried and oven dried methods was insignificant for the flowability test. For my second test, which is the compressive strength test, as you can see in figure 3, the compressive strength for 20% of actual powders motor is slightly lower than the control motor at 7 and 28 days. This is probably due to the effect of cement dilution, because like limestone, actual powder does not possess cementing properties, so a reduction of cementing materials, which is the cement, has resulting to more free water to be available. So this free water will produce small pores within the actual powder motor and then reduce its strength. Next, the treated actual specimen has higher strength than untreated actual powder specimen. This is because the extra calcium oxide within the treated actual powder specimen has improved the strength gain of the motor. Moreover, treating the actual powders help to remove the impurities and organic layers within the actual powders and promoting more reactive reaction. Last but not least, as you can see in figure 4, a significant reduction of strength is observed in the air dried specimen compared to the oven dried specimen. This is because the air dried actual powders were exposed to the growth of microorganisms and fungus, which affect the chemical composition of the actual powders. Next, contamination from animals and pollutions can also govern the ability of actual powders to react efficiently. Rewetting process can also happen due to the higher humidity of air, which can cause an increase of moisture within the actual. Moving on to the rate of strength development analysis, as you can see in figure 5, the rate of strength development for all specimens are higher in the earlier stage compared to its later stage. At earlier stage, the treated specimen has higher rate of strength development than the untreated specimen. Meanwhile, at later stage, all specimens show a comparable rate. However, it can also be seen that the rate of strength development for the 20% of actual powder specimens is lower compared to the control specimen. Next, the treated specimens has higher rate of strength development compared to the untreated specimens. This is due to the additional calcium oxide which is produced during its treatment process, which eventually accelerates the setting time and improves its early strength development. For the last test, which is the hardened density test, as you can see in figure 6, the treated specimen has higher density than the untreated specimen. Meanwhile, the air dried specimen shows significantly lower density than the oven dried specimen. However, it can be seen that the hardened density for the 20% of actual powder specimen is lower than the control specimen. This is probably due to the lower specific gravity of actual powder compared to the cement. The lower density of untreated actual powder specimens is due to the existence of organic materials and moistures within the untreated actual powders, which cause more formations of pores and then reduce its density. This is also explains the low strength of untreated motor compared to the treated and control motor. Conversely, the accelerated hydration process by the treated actual powders can create more CSH gel to fill the pores and making the specimens denser and more compact. On the other hand, the air dried specimens has lower density than the oven dried specimen. This is due to the contamination of actual powders during the drying process, causing the actual powders to do not react effectively with the cement pass, making less production of CSH gels to fill the pores. This is also explains the low compressive strength of air dried specimens compared to the oven dried specimens.
So, the conclusion of my study are as follows. First, the flowability of cement mortar increased with 20% of actual powder replacement. The untreated actual powder specimens has higher flowability than the treated actual powder specimens, and the effect between a dried and oven dried methods is insignificant. The second conclusion is the compressive strength of cement mortar decreased with 20% of actual powder replacement. The treated actual powder specimens have higher strength than the untreated actual powder specimens and the oven dried methods appear to have more impact on the compressive strength of cement mortar. The third conclusion is the rate of strength development of cement mortar containing 20% of actual powder replacements is lower than the control mortar. The treated actual powder specimens have higher rate of strength development due to the addition of calcium oxide during its treatment process. However, the air dried method cause the lowest rate of strength development mainly due to the contaminations of actual powders which reduce its effectiveness to react with the cement pest. For the fourth conclusion, the hardened density of cement mortar decreased with 20% of actual powder replacement. However, the treated actual powder specimen shows higher density than the untreated actual powder specimen. Meanwhile, the air drying method shows lower density due to the existence of moisture in natural layer causing more formations of voids. Thus, it can be concluded that the most suitable preparation methods of actual powder to be used as cement replacement is the treated oven dried method as it shows most desirable properties compared to other actual powder specimens such as good flowability higher compressive strength, and denser structure. This research was financially supported by the Ministry of Education Malaysia under the grant FRGS RESA 27-2019. I also would like to acknowledge the QL AgroVenture Sandra and Berhad for providing the actual waste used in this project. So, this is, this is the reference list for my project. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.